Hi, this is Ellie from ProLifeForMankind.com, and <clears throat> I got a message from the Holy Spirit today. Um, actually, I wanted to tell you about another message I got in adoration. I was in adoration a few days ago, and I asked God um, about a personal friend. They had a message they wanted to ask me about um, to God, and I got an answer. And then after that, I received a message. I asked God, uh, Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, um, if he could stop the war in Russia and Ukraine. And he said he cannot stop the war. And I was led to, after that, God infused to me the knowledge that <coughs> mankind has free will. And this is leading to the book of Revelation, I believe, is what the Holy Spirit was telling me. <coughs> And so I wanted to share that with you also. Um, I had gotten a message today. I heard a voice say, Dobreden. And Dobreden is hello for Ukrainian. I had to look it up because I wasn't sure exactly. I knew it was hello, but I wasn't sure exactly what the word meant because I don't speak Ukrainian fluently. And the voice said, Dobreden. And then <clears throat> the Holy Spirit said to me, you're going to see justice seep through the crown. So uh, I asked God, when will this happen? He said, you will find out. And um, anyway, I wanted to share that with you about that message I received. Um, and so the crown, uh, the, the prophecy is you're going to see justice seep. Seep is a word used to describe when liquid or water leaks through uh, pipes. It says you're going to see justice seep. So is this pertaining to water or leaking of something through the crown? <coughs> and um, when I think of the crown, I think of, you know, uh, Great Britain, the monarchy, Queen Elizabeth. Um, the royal family. So this is what I was told today. And I was told uh, in the very beginning of the message before I got this message, a Ukrainian word, Dobreden, which means hello in Ukrainian. So just keep praying about that and um, ask God, you know, uh, to protect Europe. As you're well aware of, the two nations I had put a prophecy out some time ago about Finland and Sweden. And I was told that they were going to be, uh, that Russia was going to go after them. I was specifically told those two nations. <coughs> and um, anyway, now it's coming to pass um, that they're being threatened by Russia, that if they join NATO, uh, Russia will use nuclear warfare. So this is a very dangerous and tumultuous time to be alive. And um, I also wanted to share with you um, that some time ago, actually a year ago, I had posted, you can look at my messages, about an explosion. And it happened in December. I heard the explosion in the Adoration Chapel and it shook me to the core. My, my very core of my soul. And I could not think clearly all week after I had that experience of that explosion. And recently God has been bringing up about, in the Blessed Sacrament, about um, a bomb. And then he gave me more specifically, he said um, to me something about um, I asked Jesus, where would this be? He said, near the capital. So please pray for this. I I hear these things. I pray it's not true. Pray against it. Pray for the protection of our country and pray for Europe. Um, but the Holy Spirit is alive and he speaks to us if we listen. And the best way we can listen to him is through prayer, fasting, the sacraments if you're Catholic, Confession, 
uh, forgiveness of others and ourself so God can talk to us through the Holy Spirit. Well, God bless you. Keep praying. And please pray for peace in the world. And pray that everyone will come to know Jesus. God bless.